Hello there everyone and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues using the Enclave Reborn Redux mod for the mod, Old World Blues. But at Tumor Granite, ever since a variety of doubters and traders fled to the Arizona, we've been doing our best to keep an eye on them, mostly through the various uh, individual uh, uh, people and trade caravans that Kaiser allows to pass through his territory. Today, however, word reached us of a chilling advancement in Flagstaff. Kaiser announced the creation of the Aquilan Palatine. The closest thing to a scientific body in the Legion, if there ever was one. There's no doubt in our minds that this is an enclave who defected to his cause. What's worse is aside paradoxically, advancing the Legion, Kaiser claimed that they have cleared his mind of woeful thoughts and destructions, aka, they have cured his cancer, which was rumored to be affecting the former follower of the Apocalypse. Looks like Kaiser isn't going anywhere time soon. I mean, really? It won't matter. We'll get rid of him. As we continue on, and NCR has been victorious in Navarro, unfortunately. Um, so that makes it more challenging for us. Also, we've got quite a few comms to go through. I'm, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the last episode. Looks like the Rogue Rangers are killing the Guardians, which is fine with us. Um, so, <clears throat> first comment says, uh, When you occupy the NCR, remove all your generals because if you don't, some of them will get assassinated. Thank you for reminding me. I'm probably going to forget, but thank you for reminding me. I'm probably going to forget again. Uh, like I said, I want to wait for that one. Uh, let's see, because I do want to go to war with Reno as fast as we can. I'm uh, a popular genius. General... Oh. More defense is okay, let's keep going on for now. Five research slots, never enough, of course. Never, ever enough. Convoy equipment, sure. And we do the city of crime. I love it, love it, love it. Where was that? That was all the way over, is it to the right? <clears throat> or it was underneath here. Reno, a wretched uh, hive of scum and villainy. Offers both the secure base of operations on the margins of the NCR and the chance to show the world the benefits of Enclave rule. And of course, Department of Defense, next. Um, are these guys allied with anybody? Are they doing anything here? Are they special? No, of course not. Why would that be? You guys are gonna just push out and have fun. Have fun with it, you know? Got plenty of political power right now. Um, we can hide. We need more bottle caps eventually. More stability would be nice, but we can get that with this too, so. That'd be pretty good. Department of Defense, this will defend. Mexican engineering, military propaganda. Um, home defense. It's not bad. By the Air Force. Ooh, informational edge. Four time draft. Armed Forces Networks. Oh, Armed Forces Networks. What is this one? For over 300 years, the Armed Forces Network has brought news directly from the front line. Does America marches ever eastward? AFM will be there telling stories on the ground. Warning, this will play an audio file. I want special events with the capturing cities. Cool. There you go. Have fun with that. There. You find them, you're going to beat them. Simple is, simple as. I just want to attack there because I don't lose too many, too much manpower though. Department of Defense for Born. Just wants a series of pins in, on uniforms. Uh, with the President's order. Oh, wrong one. My bad. Uh, uh, the Department of Defense has been restored with officers slowly diverting from sub departments under the Army to full branches worthy of their heritage. While the Army will take center stage being the reclamation of America's primarily land war, the other branches have laid out. What is needed to reform the military into the pre-war fighting force that no one knew, that knew no equal? Many within the government, however, have pointed that focusing on the military would distract from much-needed reform and development projects on the civilian side of the house to alleviate these fears. Uh, the president has spoken that the Department of Defense shall take a backseat, and the civilian restoration projects are still the primary concern of the government. Pointing out this technological might of the army and its rapidly growing numbers, where reform as we go. That means do not focus on the Department of Defense all at once. Yeah, that makes sense, you know. That makes a lot of sense. Reform general staff. Re uh, rapid deployment, conventional warfare by the Air Force. Um, reform the United States Army. That sounds pretty good to us. Ha doctrine on how we fight. Arsenal democracy. Um, hmm. sort of like, like strike the surface. Rebuilding nation, we gotta do that one eventually. Anything else open and available to us? Man from Cedar. Said there. Yeah, we can do how we fight maybe next. American Juggernaut. That sounds like fun though. Bear trooper, entrenchment, defense, vision attack. Draft. Well, maybe we'll reform the United States Army next. In the Enclave, the Department of the Army was the main force, and inside the government, everything was detailed to supporting the Army. With like expanding roles, we'll need to redefine the Army's role and develop the infrastructure needed to support large scale operations across America. None of the comment says, God bless the Enclave. Amen. Absolutely. Why is this taking so long? Good. 
Um, do we have any air? We'd have literally no air. Brain drain. Well, losing our friends and family to the pre granite mindset, that was not the worst part. Many of them are best and brightest in the science division. While a few still remain, they are left picking up the scraps that have been left by the Exodus. We, of course, can train a new generation of scientists, but that'll take years. Rousingly, those gang scientists we brought in are making this betrayal so much easier. Remember the kindness we showed them when we took them out of the Nerino slums. They've taken it upon themselves to pick up the slack. They've been working alongside our scientists and have managed to lessen the blow from the brain drain we suffered. Guess bringing them in was a good idea. So that's an engagement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been updated since I've last seen it. Uh, pragmatic. Here we go. This. Good. God dang, do we need an airbase for water around here? We may have lost none so far, which is good. Good. There's some networks from the United States Army, of course. Struggle a little bit against us. I'm not sure what you guys need to do. Start beating up a little bit more. It's good for our MXP at the very least, but still. This boat's looking pretty good. We get any caps? Nope. That's pretty normal. Help them out there. This will defend. As the U.S. government shrank, <clears throat> uh, shrunk down during the Great War, uh, so was it too. The military power struggle developed amongst the chiefs of staff over resources, manpower, in favor with the president. It was unknown what exactly happened, as most records went down with a rig by, by a return in 2242. All that really remained was the army. The other branches existed, but nothing more than uh, pins or highlights on the uniform. Regardless, it was the army that led the return of the mainland. It was the army that defended Navarro, and it was the remnants of the army that arrived at Sierra Depot in 2275. As their operations expand, the army itself will need to learn what was lost in the Great War, how to function and maneuver as a large-scale fighting force and not a series of small-scale assault squads. Everything from mass production of weapons to the running of logistics, of course, where to start is a question. Considering a new generation. Ooh, wait. Focus on getting our soldiers some weapons. Weapons training. Ooh. Weapons training. I like I like both. Organization regain. That's research rapid deployment. Specialist training. Ooh. Discipline soldiers. I like that. New American Titans. Ooh. So I think I'm going to go with this one for now. Any kind of street kid or farmer knows how to operate a pistol or brush rifle, but to make it Uncle Sam's army, one will need to know how to field the strip and maintain his blaze rifle and every other weapon system in this man's army. Valley Forge Baron von Steuben drew upon what would become the bedrock of. Army regulations, as we store the army, as rope will be redistributed. I think we found a stash in the steel case in Sierra Armor Depot. The federal budget. With the conquest of New Reno, the Enclave must now deal with something it had put off for centuries. The federal budget. When the Enclave ruled a series of vaults and oil rig and redacted. The Enclave relied on a command economy, but now that it rules a substantial population of wastelanders and needs to tax them to spend money. For it seems that our wastelander soldiers want a salary and our veterans want more than just jaunty propaganda tunes. Now then certain life but death and taxes. Oh god. Motivated by vengeance with standard wages. Oh god. The Enclave and I'll struggle with the budget mechanic. Patrolling New Reno. For the first time in Enclave's history, we've reclaimed an American city. However, New Reno's population does not yet see it this way. While some are hopeful that the gangsters are being pushed up, others fear and distrust of power armored strangers patrolling the streets. Minor actions of resistance, such as thrown rocks or insults, are not uncommon as unsavory types. Test the limits of our troops' patience. If we appear weak, a small arms fire may follow, soon follow. Teach them not to mess with the Enclave. Those who keep their heads down keep the heads. Others, not so much. So this entire goes down, loses legitimacy. Establish strict rules of engagement. Return fire only, and a popular move. But do we want to be the power armored monsters responding with plasma fire to kids throwing rocks? War supports lost based on the popularity of elites. Well, I want more legitimacy. Something we're working on, or at least attempting to work on here. So now we're going to lose a bit of power, aren't we? Um, we can. We gotta deal with the band graph somehow, some way. Do that. Cool. Overall, not bad. This took forever. This was actually really frustrating. The, 
New Arena has a crap ton of divisions now, which is not very much fun, but whatever. Um, what else do we have? Fools and Dreamers? Sure, why not? Little Blue Book, Infantry School. It's not bad, but we're gonna keep going on. Uh, scavenging the Service? Or Scavenging the Service. Or... We go down here. Checkmate. The bishops plotted to bring New Reno into the NCR. That was a mistake. Shared dream. The riots dream of a peaceful, prosperous city. Maybe they can collaborate with us towards a better tomorrow. Today! So we will have to deal with them. I don't want to lose legitimacy and make a deal with them, maybe? That might work. We got a good amount of, of uh, stability. Dealing with the bishops, though. The bishops may have been the most powerful family in New Reno. Mr. Bishop himself is a dangerous man for many reasons, one of which are his numerous political connections in the NCR. The Crown Lord's gangsters were low enough to face down the other families, but the set of XO one power armor sent them scattered. He has retreated to his mansion, accompanied by only his closest most loyal, surrounded by forces and traps. Capture, focus on capturing his assets. Right, the leader. Why does it look like granite? This seems like a different one. Uh, they're brothers. On orders from the president himself, a DNA test on granite, along with a sample we collected from one of the bars Mr. Bishop frequented. To our surprise, they're half-brothers. Seems an impossibility since granite was the son of an enclave soldier, and Mr. Bishop was born of one of the Bishop family of matriarchs. The official story is Granite Sr. visited the New Reno unofficially. Granite's darkest secret is that his mother was a chosen one, which he's told only a few in his inner circle, but that leads to more questions. The only person ever to settle this conundrum is Mr. Bishop. That soldier that he is, Granite has expressed willingness to give himself as a hostage with the information to present to his apparent half-brother. Granite walked into Mr. Bishop's mansion, heart rate monitor on him. On the first time something wrong, Uncle Cliff's soldiers are ready to storm the mansion. I hope he knows what he's doing. The family of New Reno. New Reno's leaders might be powerful, it seems uh, its people are a whole separate issue. Family's fine and they kept them in line, but now that they're gone, they can truly they can get unruly fast. Dealing with the rice is next. That's what we're running out of manpower. We just cry when you have family. For two days, everything remained silent from Granite, from the lowest heart rate. Modern indicated he was alive and even slept through this night. Much to relief, he walked out smiling and laughing with Miss, uh, Mr. Bishop. Apparently, the two had become best friends. Mr. Bishop. Um, has happily agreed to not only turn his assets over to assist the enclave, but he's also given us to use his contacts in the NCR to reduce some suspicion. When questioned, Granite said Bishop ran his own test, and yes, they were brothers. The standoff has finished without bloodshed, and Granite's returned to his post, on the condition that Bishop be granted full rights afforded to members of the enclave. While a few protested, Granite was quick to silence them, either by words or the fact that Granite can be a ruthless son of a gun. Just like his half brother, Mr. Bishop, meanwhile, has even agreed to help disguise their operations as that at, as New Reno, further avoiding confrontation with the NCR, but even his reach is not infinite. Oh no, Granite's father is not Bishop's father, therefore the common parent is the chosen one, who gave birth to Granite and impregnated the Bishop Matriarch. The statistic that has chosen the, uh, is a hermaphrodite are slim, but not impossible. Just because they're not it's on our side, alright? We'll take most of his help. We'll be known as New Reno. I don't want to be called New Reno. Three civvies? Nah. Dealing with the riots. Some say that the riots family spent the last few decades building the one hand that and destroying with the other, but compared to the other families, that this makes them almost redeemable. Mr. Ross's vision of a more peaceful and stable new arena is not entirely incompatible with their own. That allowed him to go legit. No place for his kind here. The new capital. They broke on the backs of the scum that run new arena. Look up. Look how much happier everyone is with the enclave soldiers patrolling the streets. No one's complaining, not even a private. Lock decisions help rebuild the waste. Some of these decisions will be based on your actions, so check periodically. Deal with them. Make a deal with them. Let's make a deal. CG Hidden Valley. Cool. First power armor could have been better, but still. Oops. But still. Pre war installations. Pre war United States has had massive installations that assist in our military endeavors. Where the wasteland could try and occupy them, only the Enclave can restore pre war bases to full glory. Those of New Reno, huh? The ones in charge of New Reno are one thing. The people of New Reno are another. Uh, we're gonna go right here. While some are common citizens living in a tough town, the vast bulk are mercenaries, crime enforcers, and petty criminals. While we would not face us directly, they know face, not face us directly. They know the streets, and they can easily discover our patrol routes. There is a reason even the NCR had trouble trying to reign in New Reno. However, we're not the NCR; we're the Enclave. A few of our more bleeding hearts. I suggest you're building infrastructure and providing goods and services in lieu of patrols. More traditional thinkers, however, know that enforcing the law in a lawless town and their dead bodies buried in Golgotha are all that's needed to remind, remind away where new Reno's denizens that they need to remind their Uncle Sam. We're from the government and we're here to help. Okay, yes, we did cause a great war, whatever. As President, I am the law. Drop your weapons, these streets are under enclave control. I like this one the most. 
I want to go this one. Because this will help. Doesn't mean we're going to be, we're not going to enforce segregation or anything like that, but still. Look like police. This population. No. Prepare expansion. Complete the new capital. Infiltrate the NCR. Ooh. We got time. Not like police. Uh, I knew Reno didn't need police when it was run by warring crime families, but establishing the rule of law could go a long way towards giving the United States legitimacy in the wasteland. The Uncle can create a police force to be a model for America. First brick. With New Reno under government uh, better than drug or running gangsters, we can develop a city. Which is pretty good. Uh, another comment is, oh, when you conquer the Yakuza territories and the tribals, can you do the preserved Japanese culture focus for the Yakuza territories? Undo the setup tribe, uh, tribe focus for the tribals? Um, if you remind me, yeah, we can. Uh, I don't mind doing that one, but still. Threat effects of the troll worm. Oh. The Sierra uh, Enclave's liberation arena has chased much of the city's riffraff to the ends of the earth. Among those who fled is Thrad, the immortal, one of the master's greatest warriors. He has affected a troll worm, where he has risen rapidly in the first ranks. In the first ranks. Future enforcements will give the troll worm a powerful tool against the Washington Brotherhood, who is already overextended oppressing his neighbors. Well, then it seems like a brotherhood problem, then. Remnants wish to return. We have been contacted by the leader of a sizable company of Enclave Remnants. They have survived the decades as raiders, greatly feared due to their advanced technologies and uh, tactics. Having heard rumors of the return of the Enclave, they are asked to be reinstated into our armed forces. While the extra manpower can be very useful, their disdain for the mutants rival that of Anderson and Zilk. Must therefore consider the political consequences by accepting them into our ranks. Enclave? No Enclave here. Remnants are sent away, no doubt working out their frustration on any settlement they come across. Particle Sons have returned. Uh, the Remnants are accepted as a new division and quickly join the purists. We can take them for now. We'll probably lose them later on, but still. What are you? 25 combat with? That's thicky. Thicky thicks. That's why we like them. They're not thick, we don't want them. That's right. Umbra. And the new capital of the Wastelanders, with the city of New Reno now fully under our control. We're now governing over a significant amount of Wastelanders. Since we cannot install Enclave members at every single position of influence in the city, some Wastelanders began exercising an amount of power within their borders. I suppose this is inevitable. The influence of Wastelanders is allowed to increase. Not on my watch, they don't. Many low level administrative positions in the city are scrapped or filled by members of the Enclave. We should encourage this. More level of administrative positions are opened up for Wastelanders. People. Uh, I don't like it, but we're going to go with that just so we can get more population and legitimacy. New Reno slaves. During the liberation of New Reno, we've come across a large population of slaves, drinking off for debate as to whether we should allow the practice of slavery in the United States. Although those are who say slavery is un-American, others point out that a captive workforce could be a boon to our economy as a historical precedent. As a compromise, we could adopt all state servitude system, providing food protection and medical care in exchange for involuntary servitude. But others say it seems like slavery with extra steps. Slavery, boon to our economy, slave labor. Organized slavery. Slave exploitation level. Do we even have slavery at this point? I don't think slavery is in the game, so there's no point in doing that one. Uh, but I'll say servitude is reasonable. Indentured servants. They want a slavery, they have an elected Anderson. Yeah, just because the slave mechanic's not in the game right now. Military industrial complex, although our economists urge a focus on economic development in New Reno. Economy base isn't much use in the city sacked by the NCR because we didn't make enough guns. If you want to about the followers of the apocalypse, please go ahead. Um, I don't want them. You know what? They're, they're pretty good overall. Fair expansion. For better and for worse. Home in Nevada. Yeah. Civilian infrastructure. We can focus on developing new Reno civilian economy, which will further our own long term growth. Placate them. For agency support. Are we making any caps here? Hey, that's pretty decent. How many routes can we create? Oh, that's really freaking good. Good signals are also very good too. Sponsor railway. Our building railways that have laid in ruins. Uh, since the Great War, we can open new opportunities for economic growth. Well, that's not bad. She looks pretty good for 500. 
America's 500th birthday is approaching, and some say she's showing her age. Look at this, nice. The land scoured by mutants and raiders in the enclave. America's last great hope is a shadow of its former self, but to grant it, this justice uh, caused redoubles efforts. Americans, he declares on the radio, have never bowed to a despot and never will. Things may look bleak now, but America will survive for the next 500 years and all well beyond that because the Enclave will always fight for a better world. Americans will always fight for freedom. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Nice. Special Forces cap. Are we already maxed out right now? You know, we're power armor. That's what we really need. Yeah. Uh, get sponsored railway immediately. Cool. Fair expansion. The new arena is secure. The rest of northern Nevada lies open to us. The technology of Vault City. The power of the travels. Manpower of the travels. And, and then the Yakuza a threat to our flank. Of course. Home in Nevada. Spy sheltering. Us in Sierra. New arena being our temporary capital. There's very little we know about Nevada. And what pre-war secrets or horrors it holds. To be laid down. It'll be a long road to restore America. And the chief among it is getting America's industry back online. Much of it lays in ruins, but we're, we're the Enclave. And if anyone can get it back online, we can. Many members of the military are adamant of getting our old military and industrial complex back online, producing the weapons of war needed to reconquer the continent. Civilian members, however, are pointing out to win over, over the populace, we are going to need to produce goods and products to remind them of what we're rebuilding. Or at least distracted from the reality of post-war America. Nuka-Cola bottles won't win wars. Focus on civilian infrastructure. Hmm. We're almost completely maxed out there, but we need more goods here. Um, you know what? Which one is it? Three versus two. Honestly, we want to go with two. That seems pretty good for me. Prepare some expansion. That's good. Enclave police, of course, too. Enclave police. Out with the old. Controversially, we can decide the people, or decide the police force consists of people who don't run a gangster state. An amnesty for service. We can forget some of the old gang members and welcome into the police. This will give us trained soldiers, but some may question whether they're robots, cops, or robbers. Marino returns. Oh, or I am Marino. As a soldier that used to serve in the Enclave until the destruction of Navarro, like many others, he fled south into the NCR. A loyal soldier, he has never given up the Enclave's dream of a restored America. When rumors of the Enclave's return reached him, or I am packed his bags or joined his lost comrades in arms. Dr. Henry returns. He's an ex-Enclave medical scientist. He used to work with the Enclave Cyber Genetic Research Program of the Poseidon Oil Rig and various other Enclave installations later. He was there the Enclave due to conflict with another scientist. When he received word of the revival of the Enclave, he was skeptical at first, but once new spread of our efforts to become a worthy American government, he has left his clinic in order to join the Enclave and get one more grand accomplishment done. Welcome back, Doc. Suspicion will be lowered. Cool. Break the tribe. Follow is rejected. Good. Uh, hard as may be, but I believe these jobs are Americans too, or will be shortly. Show of force. Bribing Raiders. Reach the Air Bannocks, that'd be cool. Modoc, huh? Cool. We gotta move faster too. Uh, just because you never know when things are gonna get really bad here. Let's see. Let's explore cargo planes, transfer planes. Yes. Extremely important. You guys. What if you guys held the line? Kind of hung out. You, the prodigal sons, go over there. Um, Rabbit deployment's good. Followed up with flexibility command. A flexibility movement. Experience soldiers' losses going down would be good. We're not going to need a lot of uh, fighting support units here. We're going to go with marching fire. And saws, dynamite, recon. Sure, we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Cargo planes looking pretty good. I'm here to Modoc. Um, honestly, I just want like a straight line between here to there, so that, just in case. We get defeated, anything like that. There you go, figure it out. So you're good to go whenever we need to, we need you to go. Nice, sponsor railway, Hide activities. Marino, 
It's not bad. T stability disturbing reports. We receive reports of an enclave division using unjustified force against the wasteland settlement. The division in question is one we accepted into the fold recently. They filed an after action report that mentioned retaliating against small fire arms fire, but when pressed, admitted to have received no more than thrown rocks. When did the wasteland expect what happened? Court martial the commanders break up the division. I don't know this legitimacy. Yeah, I figured as much. Encounter with the Crimson Caravan, whatever patrol is but upon. The witnesses or the expeditions of crum the Crimson Caravan. Squad leader, less trigger happy than some, is reported back questioning the orders how to proceed. Caravans are not close enough to confirm that they're faced with their enclave power armor specifically, but rumors of suspicious patrols in Nevada Desert could reach the NCR nonetheless. I'll go with that one for now. Where's the one that help us prevents that? Enclave propaganda. Ooh, old world radio. Lucia incident, huh? Stage radar attacks. Auto propaganda, Operation Babylon. The mutant question. Oh, God. We expand the definition of human. Americans what and all. Reject ghouls, accept ghouls. I don't know. I might do this because it's been a long time since I've actually accepted ghouls. Debacle. Well, Jesus, Mordino was driven out of New Reno, fleeing to the slavery capital of California, the Dem. He's been launching prepping raids to harass New Reno's revenge. That is treason. Legacy of Vault 15. Vault 15 is one of the most successful failures of our Vault Tech's program. Vault 15 led to the creation of the NCR, the Clans, and the ca Jackals, and the Vipers. The latter, however, are starting to nip at our heels. Cool. Someone says, uh, finally, the Enclave Reborn is back. I'm sure this will go well. We got 20% st uh, legitimacy, 100% stability, 84% war support. We should be more than fine here. Capitulate them, right? Can we go? There you go. Beautiful. Exactly what we wanted to see and use. guys in place. I love a pair of dropping. Oh, preservation's good. We got him. It's the first group. And we got them too. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that manpower, too. Establish tributaries. We can protect our tribal culture by giving them autonomy in exchange for old, for men. Old America did this and no one complained. Civilization by force. Those Americans have fallen on hard times with the burden of the enclave to bring enlightenment to this begotten land, whether they want it or not. Jackals and Vipers next, huh? Those are the only places there, really, that can do that. Good. Civilization by force. Establish tributaries. I'm in Nevada, show of force. Probably need to do that one. Drive the Yakuza out of the Yakuza. But pretend to be heir to the Japanese traditions, which would be fine if they weren't on American soil. And no matter what, we will eventually do preserve Japanese culture. The Yakuza are fierce fighters who wouldn't swear loyalty to us in exchange for autonomy. Wouldn't we rather they point their guns at our enemies? And enforce American culture eventually. Uh, the Yakuza imitate advantage of Japan, but we know they're really Americans. They just need to be reminded. Very good. Well, let's see what we can do.
Oh, the Avengers are still preparing, huh? Oh. Oh! You can't do this and civilization by. Oh, crap. My bad. You know what? I'm going to go back and redo that one, maybe. I'll also drop the Yakuza next, the Den debacle. Uh, we'll do a couple more things around here, too. So there's all this stuff up here. And Oh! Arena Reborn. Looks like we're going to be here for the long haul. Well, new arena has some level of infrastructure. The vast majority of the city is still given over to vice and back alley crimes. So just like Washington, D.C., with all the institutions and buildings to support the full government, we'll need to start fixing that. And then, uh, ooh, specialist training. Infantry school. It's not enough to center infantry to boot camp. A dedicated course will teach your soldiers how to be infantry and be the tip of the bayonet in our next well, war. The jackals are dead. Vipers. Let's see what we can do with them. Oh, we can just launch into them and try to parachute into them and not lose any divisions here or there. And we've successfully parachuted into there. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, that's not looking good. In the meantime, uh, I'm gonna have you guys try to start making your way down south, which would be nice. You actually did survive. Look at that. Go figure. You guys hold. You guys are pushing. You'll be fine. And we gotta get to Gabs. So, I'm not sure why Gabs. Why are they not going? I don't understand why they don't pair drop when they need to or when they should. It makes literally no sense to me, but, you know, who am I? Oh, there you go. And so, we did the Savage Tributaries. We'll, of course, stuff later on. Uh, Home to Nevada, of course. Be nice. Bye for Ness. Sky High Joyride. People fled in terror today when an erratic bird bird careened through the airspace above New Reno. The erratic aircraft, aircraft flew over buildings and was noted to be performing high speed aerial maneuvers, a pilot ignoring calls to land by the New Reno police. A military response was called in with a trooper firing a missile that struck the aircraft in the engine. The vertebrae crashed on the town outskirts and was quickly surrounded by New Reno police and military personnel from the nearby Sierra Army base. The pilots, having survived, were finally New Reno benefactor Mr. Bishop and ranking officer, enclave official Douglas Granite. Well, they're finally incredibly intoxicated, and the vertebrae was apparently the private vertebrae of Mr. Bishop. No one was certain the incident, and the Jew had been not found uh, for disturbing the peace. Can the president be arrested? Well, it depends who's in charge, really. Love it. Alright, so this one's going to be a pain in the butt, probably. Um, actually, you know, let's do the den first. We're greatly expanding a lot of our territory first, which is probably not a good idea. But it is what it is. Prospectors, you guys. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, so we can use more money ourselves too. Yeah, I'll spend that PP for now. It's fine. Further, sort of the Hawthorne Army Department, Southeast of New Reno lies an even large army depot, the largest in the world. The Viper stood atop it, held at bay by the base defense turrets, but they'll be have act deactivated for us. Yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, so with these guys, what can we do? Hopefully, we can just take out their main points here. I want to be able to at least get that. Oh, what am I doing? I'm probably expanding a bit too much for us, but whatever. I don't know. Something like that, maybe. Looks more production, because my god, do we need it? Uh, sure, why not? Put out more roads, which is not bad. But build more cities for now, too. My god, we just need more power armor and whatnot. Takes forever to make all that power armor. Home in Nevada. Travel infantry, huh? I guess I did create them, but I got rid of them as soon as we got them, so. State join them. That's why I also want to take out as many enemies as possible right now before that anyone can ally with them or the NCR. Uh, if you at the NCR, we can make contact with those in the NCR who want to restore pre war America's glory. Show of force. Fall City must be ours. An overwhelming amount of force should bring the city under control with minimal damage for its precious citizens and citizens. There's nobody in court right now, which sucks, but whatever. We have auxiliaries, militia. What do we have here? 
Oh, rock control would be nice, but we don't have that yet. Cool, let's see what happens. Got the den. There you go. Why oh, it's always this one that lands? I hate that so much. There you go. Go in, y'all. See what you can do. There you go, nice. Did you line up to Doris? No? That sucks. Show force, good. Uncle yeah, Blaze. Yes. Nice. I'll kill them all off. Quite nice. Good, good, good. Did you do what you need to do? Go around and kill them all? Yes, yes, yes. This is okay, this is a giant mess. Just do that. There you go. Much nicer. Good. We're looking pretty big. It's gonna be a little hard for them to stop us. I might just do a full frontal assault, maybe. Oh, let's see. Thank God, another division here. My goodness. Awareness, chance to get wounded. Do you actually have any recon on you guys? I don't think so. Constance, none. Survivalist. Ah, oh, life givers always good too. Yeah. That's what'll work for now. Cargo plant's looking pretty good too. So we did that. Well, uh, you know what? That's fine. We'll do that for now. You go all the way through here. You can cut them off. Snip, snip. You know. Fallon. They're total wastes. And they're surrounded. Very good. Beautiful. Air XP is uh, slightly going up. Not by much. But by a decent amount. Yes, please. Completely destroyed. Love it, love it, love it. Now we're looking pretty thick. And you know what? If you know me, I love them thick. Don't push us around, you ding dong. Doggos help put people down, yes. Oh, look at this. Uh, our diamond in the raw. What lies above, in, and more important, below here in Nevada. I jacked the big circle. Consider the most profitable trade route in Northern California. We can easily tap this route and reap the rewards. U.S. Ordnance. Minor pre war arms manufacturing, but its equipment remain intact. Within the ruins of New Reno lay an old factory guarded by high end robots. The charts are partially picked clean by scavengers and New Reno gangs, however. And sadly, the factory workings of the U.S. Ordnance, a pre war military uh, weapons manufacturer. Whenever it grew as large as the likes of Stent Security at West Tech, it was a modest company that focused in the Nevada area. Post war saw the factory locked down, only to open to the authorities. And that authority happens to be the US government. And so we found the factory to be relatively intact. A few simple repairs can be returned to full working order, producing weapons and materials for a growing army. Focus on basic infantry weapons, better research speed, better cost on infantry support weapons. Ooh, fire tanking weaponry, demo weaponry, so uh, US energy ordinance, US support ordinance. Energy weapon, research speed, and production, better production cost versus support equipment. Well, we got enough for now. Support equipment is actually pretty good too. Fire teams. Well, I want to go infantry support, just because we'll need that for our other guys. But most of the force will be infantry equipment, which we'll have enough of, honestly. Should be good for that. Hawthorne Armor Depot. Pre-war Hawthorne Armor Department, or Depot, prided itself as the largest depot in the world. Twice the size of the Sierra Armor Depot, Hawthorne held everything from weapons, ammo, trucks, and everything else in between. Sadly, operations in Alaska and China drained many of its stocks, and the passage of time hasn't helped. While well, on the base up and running, we managed to find a few old stock of rifles and machine guns, but one of our tech discovered something better. Schematics for 105mm artillery pieces, along with training manuals and table ranges. While well, previously our highly mobile vertebrate assault teams had no need for artillery, if we're going to take back America the hard way, we're going to need some artillery support. Sadly, it appears that what few guns were here were stolen with the tracks leading off to the southeast towards Vegas. So who took the guns? Look at that, nice. 
Enclave Police. New Rangers say everything you expect for a city with no police force, of course, but that's just because order is maintained by a gentleman's agreement between the families. Well, we could incorporate many of the officers into a new police force and we could start from scratch, though with the police trained by Sergeant Dornan, out with the old. Why don't we just use these guys? Amnesty for service. Corrupt New Reno police. Versus, you have to be a moron to rely on New Reno's gangs. So we out with the old. A little more stability, or that, should help us out. Force American culture. I want to do that one, but someone says I want to do this one. So I'll do that one for now. I'll check the NCR, I'm even question, we'll get to later. Uh, last one too. The Reno Initiative. Infantry school. It's not enough sending soldiers to boot camp and dedicated course to teach their soldiers how to be infantry in the, the tip of the bayonet in their next war. Home defense. Oh, if you're in this one, please go ahead. Spectacular indeed. Enclave Command is tired of endless messages about another settlement under attack. Instead of relying on disorganized militias, we'll survive military reserves to fight at a moment's notice. Ranger school. Yeah. Post war, many of the Wasteland's best fighters based themselves off the pre war U.S. Army Rangers, now post war, which will bring the stuff of legend back into reality and training a generation of Rangers. Down Mexico Way. Oh, I remember this. Mr. President, before the Great War, America's Reconstruction Force in Mexico operated under the aid of a powerful AI known as Slaylock. Although sadly, the AI has never accepted or claimed to be the legitimate U.S. authority, doubtless due to a programming error, Slaylock has largely broadcasted itself or signals suggesting he is malfunctioning. Perhaps we should explore this. Won't it be valuable to understand just how Slaylock's robots keep going without running out of fuel immediately? Is he not federal property? The Alkali will send an expedition to recover data and research from Mexico, but the results may be unpleasant. Let Sleeping Gods Lie. I remember doing this one last time and I hated it, so we're going to go Let Sleeping Gods Die. Raider Attack. Raider attacks have been part of the daily horrors of the wasteland of life. For many towns on the border, our controlled territory has not changed. Recently, another report has come in about a small town ravaged by a raider game. But this time, we have a solid lead on the location of the perpetrators. Those responsible will be brought to justice. Go and make as many arrests as possible. Kill them all at God's sort of mount. Firebomb the raider settlement. I like that. If only they had a better target for the raids. There you go. Shock troops, huh? When enemy militia or hostile raiders look to fight the American army, they won't know what hit them when their shock troops blast through the trenches, leaving nothing but destruction in the wake. De Opreso Liber. Our special forces were second to none, the greatest soldiers of the old world. The way that opposes us today no, won't know what hit them as entities like Sigma, the Green Berets, Navy SEALs, and the Marine Raiders make their presence known to the world. No is no equal. Oh, look at that. Or at least we'll be the masters of the battlefield, equal by none, and no, no equal. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yakuza Honor. Uh, treat the NCR. Yeah, well, we must have do that one too. Uh, let's see what this one's first like. Seems our commitment to preserving Japanese culture and our acceptance of wastelanders as a whole born some fruit. Central recruiting office in Reno has given word that two entire battalions worth of former Yakuza are outside in formation wearing uniforms that resemble ours. They claim that they, they are willing to serve the Enclave in the United States as soldiers and are willing to give their lives for a cause. Given our limited numbers, we can't exactly turn down a request for troops. Even if some of our more heartland officers are against having former criminals in the army, what's more, the discipline and knowledge of urban war freaking not be overlooked. Plus, it would be really cool to see a bonsai charge against the Legion. We'll go for rogue. Integrate them into the army. The urban warfare experience needs to be shared. Uh, is that just straight up ar army XP? Because I don't want just straight up army XP. It's nice and all, but that's easy. Do we get urban warfare? Go for rogue. Well, that's probably not the one I want to choose in the end, just because I want to see if. Uh, Wanted to see if this would actually unlock anything for uh, reward technologies, but I guess not. But unfortunately, I have to end the episode there. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're going to do Reno, Reno Reborn first, and we'll talk about the Reno Initiative, and then we'll end the episode. How about that? War economy is very good. Stroke of firearms, nice. Yeah. The Reno Initiative. I guess we take out Vault City, too. Because I do want more power armor as well. I just want as much power armor as possible. Alright, let's do this one first. No, no, this guy's will be easy to take out. Tear for Lipo. Due to a mix of strategic unimportance, the defense of Las Vegas and its sheltered location within the Sierra Mountains, the city of New Reno survived the war mostly intact, however. That didn't mean it survived the intervening years unscathed. With the collapse of government and authority, the city's already prolific gang violence tore the city apart. It wasn't until the end of the 22nd century that the city stabilized behind several crime families. Now, by the 23rd, mid 23rd century, it stabilized behind four families. Now, in the late 23rd century, the Enclave had arrived and with it, Douglas Granite. With the Enclave's soldiers had replaced gang enforcers, the city remained in a dilapidated state. 
made worse by the recent fighting between the gaming forces and the Anka soldiers. In radio address to the city, the president proposed the Reno you know, Initiative, a grand project to turn the city from a rundown dive of vice and crime to a jewel of the wasteland befitting the capital of the Enclave and whatever form it would take. The answer might boast of shady sands and the White House and the house brag of a New Vegas in a bright light in the blighted landscape, but when the caravans of travelers visited in Nevada, it would be New Reno that would be the greatest city in the waste. Build Reno back better. Make Reno get great again. Well, we don't need more stability, so we might as well do this one. Um, so on another comment from the last video says, As I've asked before, once you're through this, you should definitely try, give a try to Pulse's Warband. That'd be cool. So it says, can you do a wholesome USA path in this game? We'll see. And so it says, you're finally playing the updated version of the Enclave Reborn mod. Yep. Well, what is this? Reform the Secret Service. Leading up to and after the Great War, the Secret Service went from protecting the President to essentially becoming the President's own goon squad, handling whatever President needed in a timely manner. So what led to a lot of reformer deaths. Like the Uncle, the Secret Services need a full reform. But if you enjoyed the can uh, video so far, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow to see what else we can do with the Enclave. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.